nearly there now. The skip of the ball. 22 runs required, and uh, Adam Holyoke has gone for nine. He went for nine runs against Australia earlier today, 16 against Sri Lanka. So you would say, it's, uh, if you're a betting man, that uh, it favours England now in this situation. That's a very, very tough ask. Wide ball! Ah, that's not what he needed. Anything just beyond the uh, stumps on the next side, call a wide. He doesn't like it. It was a close call, but that makes the six balls into a seven ball last over. And yeah, now only 20 required. And Zahur Elahi has scratched around for just five runs up until this point. And he's found the boundary there. Well, suddenly the mood in the stadium has changed completely. And it's the Pakistan supporters who are now beginning to believe once more. 16 runs off five deliveries. Too wide. He's not bowling the line he wants. And he's straying once more. And again, it's got a hold of. Elahi is actually coming up with the goods here. And he's suddenly come to life. Now only 12 runs needed for victory. I say only. That's a four off every ball, but he's made this one into a six. Would you believe it? Pakistan then. Up to 65. Just six runs needed. And actually, if they get level on 70, it'll be good enough if they don't lose more wickets. And that's more or less guaranteed it. It's gone all the way. And Holyoke has been uh, proven to be the most expensive bowler right when he didn't need it. He's bowled admirably throughout the two days, but he's getting clobbered in this final over. Just giving them a little bit too much width. Pakistan were criticised as coming here with something of a patchwork side. And that was the headline when the team was announced. He's a positive man, is Adam Holyoke. He needs to play positive now, just to think. Draw himself in. And keep it straight up. is the other end they must be thrilled and Brown has missed it wide ball and a wide and quite right too and that's it three runs effectively and what a disappointing way for it to finish for England but what delight for Pakistan after getting beaten comprehensively by England yesterday in the group format they've come back and won this title the second time in their history with some superb hitting and really I think it was the bowling that did it for them well disappointment obviously for England although there was consolation for Kent's Matthew Fleming who was named player of the tournament congratulations at the end though must go to Pakistan the 1997 Hong Kong Sixes champions with Wazi Makram showing he's well on the road back to full fitness so there we are